If you're a SaaS business without any brand awareness or a large budget, how are you going to kickstart leads and sales? In this video, I'm going to outline my number one strategy that I've used to scale multiple SaaS businesses from zero to seven figures of revenue in the first year. But first, if you want weekly SaaS marketing tips in your inbox every Thursday, join sasmarketingweekly.com. SaaS startups really struggle at the beginning of their journey because they got no social media followers, no email newsletters, no customers, no word of mouth and no budget. So how do they get leads? The way to do that is to piggyback. Piggybacking is when you find an individual or a company that already has that audience that you want and you want to piggyback off of their network. So rather than spending months of time and thousands of budget trying to build that audience yourself, you can simply piggyback off someone else's audience that has done it before. So you want to create a campaign that you can co-promote with somebody else. Co-hosting a webinar is a classic or there's a podcast, you can even co-release an ebook or host an event together. Then you want to find the right partner to promote it with. Now finding the right partner is absolutely critical if this is going to work. You can't just pick anyone that's got a good following. You need to have the right type of person. I recommend you follow these four principles when looking for that partner. First of all, they've got to be within your niche or targeting the same audience. Now, obviously this cannot be a competitor because they're not going to want to co-host with you. So typically it's going to be another company that is also targeting the same audience that you're targeting, but they're offering a different service. Or it could be an influencer in the space. Second, you want to make sure that they've got a good following on social media. If you're a B2B SaaS brand, it's obviously going to be LinkedIn. So you simply go onto their profile page, see how many followers that they've got. Also see how many followers the company page has got. If they've got a decent number, well into the thousands or tens of thousands, they're probably a good candidate for you. Third, you want to make sure they've got a decent email newsletter subscriber account. You're probably not going to find this online, so you're going to have to ask them or kind of take a guess to see if they've got an active newsletter or not. Fourth and finally, you want to make sure that they're willing to co-promote this event with you. You don't just want to do a podcast or a webinar and they're just going to rock up and do the thing and then leave. You want to make sure that they are willing to promote this event to their audience as well. You're only going to find that out by asking them and getting a feel for them. So now that you've got that criteria of the perfect partner that you want to find, you now have to go out and find them. I recommend these areas where you can find your perfect partner. First of all, I would look at your previous company, whether it's your previous boss or an employee that you really respected. Presumably you came from a similar industry, that's where you learned the trade. So there must be somebody in there that's got great expertise. Second is your partners or your suppliers. You've likely got some kind of partner or supplier that's got a big audience, so check those out. Third would be your friends. You might be surprised there's somebody that you know that's a friend that works within the industry or maybe there's a friend of a friend. So don't be shy to reach out to your friends and say, hey, I'm looking for a partner. Does anybody know someone that works within this industry that's well known? And that could really open up some surprising doors for you. And finally, there's also LinkedIn connections, of course. You can go through all of your LinkedIn friends. I know that there's probably a lot of people on there that you've never even met or had a conversation with before, but go through that list, try and find the perfect partner and reach out to them. Now, if you've extinguished that list and you still cannot find the perfect partner for your event, then there is another option. You can create a partnership and you can forge a friendship. It's not as hard as you might think. So go on your LinkedIn and search for somebody that would be a dream partner for you. You can do that via the normal LinkedIn search or you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to really get advanced with it. Pick a few people that you think would be an amazing partner for you and start to build a relationship with them. You do that by commenting on their posts, DMing them, not spamming them, not trying to sell to them, not immediately pitching your event to them, just building up a friendship saying, hey, I really like that post that you did yesterday. That was really insightful. And you're hopefully gonna build up a relationship and then strike when the time is right, say, hey, we're getting along so well. Why don't we do a webinar together? And you'd be surprised how many people would say yes. So you've got the campaign, you've got the perfect partner. There's now a few rules that you need to follow to make sure that this campaign works and gets you lots of leads rather than your partner. The main thing is to make sure that the event landing page is hosted on your website. So if someone's registering for an event or a webinar or a podcast or downloading an ebook, it's got to be on your website so it's your form, meaning that all the leads go into your CRM as opposed to your partner. It's also absolutely critical that your partner is promoting this event to their followers. Otherwise, it's completely pointless and it's only going to go to your followers and you haven't got many of them. So it's really, really important that your partner is going to promote it on their social media for their personal brand and their company page. Also, their email newsletter. You might even convince them to put a bit of ad budget into it as well. They could even be encouraged to add a pop-up onto their website, maybe even a banner on their blog articles. Try to push it as far and as wide as possible from your partner without being too cheeky. 
A tip is to make it as easy as possible for your partner to do this. You don't want to contact your partner and say, hey, I want you to write an email newsletter. I want you to design some social media posts. I want you to build a pop-up on your website. It's just too much work. They're probably going to get a bit annoyed and they're probably just not going to do it. They might say yes, but they won't. So you want to do it for them. You want to reach out to them and say, hey, would you mind if I wrote an email newsletter that you could send to your audience to promote our event that we're doing together? They're probably going to say yes. And you could say, hey, I could also design some social media assets that you could post on your LinkedIn. And again, they're probably Probably going to say yes because it's free marketing stuff for them just do everything you can to make it as easy as possible for them just to press a few buttons to promote your event this is where the real magic happens this is the whole reason why we're doing this with a partner so that their network is seeing your event and if they've got hundreds of thousands of followers they're all going to be seeing your event so when the event is complete whether that's a webinar or a podcast for example don't stop the promotion yet keep pushing it out there take snippets from the webinar take snippets from the podcast post it all over social media keep encouraging your partner to be promoting it all over their emails and their socials and as far and as wide as possible. You really want to maximize your partner's network as much as you possibly can. And the great thing about having that event registration page hosted on your website means that all of the leads belong to you. So you can now reach out to all of those people that attended or registered and you can now follow up with them about the event and then also pitch if they're interested in having a demo of your product. So it's a really, really, really powerful way of going from no brand awareness, no budget to suddenly having hundreds of thousands of people seeing your brand and potentially getting thousands of leads. So that is the number one way to get leads for your business if you're starting from nothing. So I hope you like that strategic SaaS marketing tip. If you want more in your inbox for free every Thursday morning, subscribe to my newsletter, sasmarketingweekly.com. See you there. And I'm Ryan from Rocket SaaS. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.